This video is going to teach you how to do long division, and we're going to look at problems that have a two-digit number divided by a one-digit number. So when we're doing long division, the first thing you need to know is how to set up the problem. So you have this little symbol that looks like a house right here. That is our symbol for divided by. And you put the bigger number, the number you're starting with, inside the house. So in this case, it's 72. And the number that you're dividing by goes to the left of the house. So here it's 3. As we work the problem, our answer is going to go on top of the house. There are five steps that we follow when we're doing long division. And a way that you can help remember those steps is to use the members of a family. So we have what's called the long family. So the dad tells us, helps us to remember to divide. The mom helps us to remember to multiply. Sister helps us remember to subtract. Brother helps us remember to bring down. And the dog Rover helps us remember that we're going to either repeat or find a remainder. So those are the steps we're going to follow when we're working the problem. So our first step is to divide. We're going to start by dividing the first digit, which is 7, divided by 3. So a way to think about that is how many times does 3 go into 7? Or if I have 7, so I'm going to come over here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, how many groups of 3 can I make? So I have 1, 2 groups of 3. So 3 goes into 7 two times, so we're going to put our 2 right above the 7. Okay, so that's our dividing. Now, we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply 3 times 2, which equals 6. That goes right here below our 7. Then our next step is to subtract. So we're going to do 7 minus 6, which equals 1. Then the bring down, we're going to bring down this next digit and put it right next to the number we just wrote. So now we have 12. And then we're going to repeat our steps. So our first step is to divide. So now we're going to do 12 divided by 3. Or how many times does 3 go into 12? If you know your multiplication facts, you know that 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 goes into 12 4 times. So that 4 goes up there in the 1's place. Next, we're going to multiply 3 times 4 which equals 12. Then we're going to subtract 12 minus 12, which is 0. We don't have anything else to bring down, which lets us know that we are done. So now we don't have to repeat, and we have 0 left, so we do not have a remainder. So 72 divided by 3 equals 24. Okay, let's do another one. 82 divided by 2. So our first step is to divide. So we're going to divide 8 divided by 2. Or how many times does 2 go into 8? I know it's 4. Next I'm going to multiply 2 times 4, which is 8. Then our third step is to subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. Then we're going to bring down our next digit, which is the 2. So now we're going to repeat the steps. So we're going to divide first. 2 divided by 2, or how many times does 2 go into 2, which is 1. Then we're going to multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. Then we subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. And we don't have anything else to bring down. Since we have 0 left, we do not have a remainder. Remainder just means what's left over. We have 0 left over, so we are finished. So our answer is 41. Okay, so on this one I'm going to show you how to check it with multiplication. I didn't do that on the last one. When we divide, we can check our answer by multiplying. And the way we do that is we take our answer, which in this problem is 41, And we multiply it by what we were dividing by. So we're going to do 41 times 2. What we want to see is we want to get the number we started with as our answer. 
So 1 times 2 is 2, and 4 times 2 is 8, 82, 82. So we solved it correctly. All right, here's another one. Our first step is to divide. So we're going to start with our first digit, 7 divided by 5, or set how many times does 5 go into 7? 5 goes into 7 one time. So we're going to multiply 5 times 1 is 5. Then we subtract 7 minus 5 is 2. Our fourth step is to bring down the next digit, which is 4. And now we're going to repeat the step. So we have 24. So we need to do 24 divided by 5. How many times does 5 go into 24? So this is a little bit bigger number. You can think about how many times can you count by 5s without going past 24. So 5, 10, 15, 20. If I do 5 more, I'll be at 25, which is too much. So I can count by 5s 4 times without going past 24. So 24 divided by 5 is 4. And we're going to multiply 5 times 4. You're always multiplying by the number you've just written and the number you're dividing by. 5 times 4 is 20. Then we're going to subtract. And we get 4. Now I don't have anything else to bring down because there's nothing left over here. So I'm to my R, which is to repeat. But I didn't bring anything down, so I don't have anything to repeat. Or remainder. That tells me that this is my remainder. So the way that we write that is we use the letter R and we put it up here by our answer and then the number. So our answer is 14 with a remainder of 4. What that means is if I have 74 and I'm making groups of 5, I can make 14 groups of 5, but I'm going to have 4 left over. So remember I said we want to check it by multiplying. So here's what that looks like with the remainder. We're going to take the part of our answer that's not the remainder. So in this one it would be 14. We're going to multiply by what we divided by, which is 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7. Then we're going to add our remainder, 74, which is what we started with, so we knew we did it correctly. Okay, let's do another one. So our first step is to divide 8 divided by 4. If you know your multiplication facts and your division facts, it's going to make this a lot easier. 8 divided by 4 is 2. We're going to multiply 4 times 2 is 8. Then we subtract 8 minus 8 is 0. Then we need to bring down our 1. And now we're going to repeat. I know I need to repeat and not do a remainder for two reasons. One, I just brought a number down. So that tells me I'm still working my problem. And the other one is I don't have anything up here in my 1's place for my answer. So I know I'm not done yet. So we have to repeat the steps. So. How many times does 4 go into 1? Hmm. Well, if I have 1, I can't make any groups of 4. So I don't just leave that blank. I put a 0 up here to show that 4 goes into 1 0 times. And then I multiply 4 times 0, which is 0. Then we subtract 1 minus 0 is 1. We don't have anything to bring down, so that R is going to stand for remainder which is what's left over. So our answer is 20 with a remainder of 1. So that whole thing is the answer. So that's a 1. So to check this, we're going to multiply 20 times 4. 0 times 4 is 0. 2 times 4 is 8. Then we're going to add our remainder. And we get 81, which is what we started with. So we know I did it right. If you don't get what you started with, then you need to go back and figure out if your mistake was in your multiplication when you were checking your answer or somewhere in your division.